Welcome back to Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel Free-to-Play. So I did some solo in the last episode, and I got a bunch of gems, as you can tell. I opened the Ash Bundle, Lightning Storm Bundle, and the Solemn Judgment Bundle. I'm going to open the rest of the bundles now. But I will not be adding these cards to the deck. I will not be adding Imperm to the deck, or any of those other cards. Until we go, until later, later in the free to play run, because I just think those cards are too powerful right now. <clears throat> so any card I think is too powerful, I will not be adding to the deck. <clears throat> just to just to make it more of a challenge, you know. Okay, I could probably turn those into super rare points. Tribe Infecting Virus. Going way back. Got ourselves an ultra rare here. Let's see what it is. Oh, Judgment Dragon. Like a Lightsworn deck, maybe? That is one of the decks I've played the most in my life. Or the Archetype. Ooh. I'd say between... Magical Musketeer, Lightsworns, Invoked, Ghost Tricks. Those are the archetypes I've used the most. Okay, Armory Call. Hmm, okay. It's a trap card though. I ain't never seen that card before. Is that a new card? I ain't never heard of Armory Call before. Oh, it transformed into an ultra rare. Nice. Rainbow Over Dragon. Get points from that. Points for that, I guess. I don't plan to add that to a deck. Okay, so we got two two ultra rares and we got eight super rares. Pretty good. Next up we got the Forbidden Droplet bundle. Okay, one, two, three, four ultra rares. Oh, nice. Give me all the ultra rares. I want all ten packs to have ultra rares. One ultra rare. No, actually, I want uh ten packs. All ten packs to have eight ultra rares per pack. Yeah, that'll never happen. Ooh, the control player in me's like. Yes. Yeah, if you haven't figured out on this channel, I'm not really the type to like special summon a million times and all that like combo decks are just not my style. I'll use like combo TKs, but I will not use like regular combo decks. That like special summon a million times. Ooh, Tri Brigade. I don't think Tri Brigade are meta anymore, are they though? Probably not. Last time I played Master Duel they were. 
But I highly doubt they're meta anymore. But maybe they are. I'll have to look it up. I don't I don't know what you guys will have to let me know what's meta now, because I don't even know. <laughs> Wait a minute. Fusion Destinies are rare in this game? That card's insane and it's a rare. That's crazy. Okay, dimensional fissure. Witchcrafter, with witchcrafter confusion confession. This card's can't even you can't even play this card. Why is this card? Why is this card not banned as well as? They should have, if they, when they banned Dagger Elma, they should have banned this card as well because you can't even summon this card. They should have just banned both of them. Same for like Spirit of Pot of Greed and Jar, the, the Jar card, the, the like, Avatar of the Jar or whatever the heck it's called. The, the, the two cards that work with Pot of Greed, they let you draw, no, draw an extra card. They should have banned those cards too. Because they're completely useless without Pot of Greed. Four Ultra Rares, six Super Rares. And now we have the final bundle. Nibiru. It's always worth buying these bundles because you're going to put these cards in your deck. There's no way you're not going to put Nibiru in your deck. Ash Blossom. Well, you might not put Nibiru in your deck, but you're going to put Ash Blossom in your deck. You're going to put Lightning Storm in your deck and all that. So... Okay, D Force. Let's see. Reptilian Hydra. Interesting. Okay, got another Thunder Dragon card there. I got a Thunder Dragon card in the last episode. Maybe I'm leaning. Maybe I can make a Thunder Dragon deck. pack here. We get a super rare. Alright, blue eyes, tyrant dragon. Unaffected by trap cards or effects. <laughs> what does that even mean? 
Trap cards or effects. Alright, six super rares. Pretty bad pack there on packs there, honestly. I am not buying accessories. I don't think I'm gonna buy structure decks either. Except Wow, is this one actually good? <coughs> Burning spirits. Yeah, you can buy them three times too, so you can get three copies of some of those cards. For only 1,500 gems, so that's probably actually worth it, honestly. Hmm. I don't think this pack's very good, is it? <laughs> These are the featured packs, too. Oh, tier elements. Obviously, tier elements are good. A lot of their cards are like limited, semi limited, and everything. Do you have any legacy packs? Nope, I don't have any legacy packs right now. Is there any deck I want to use that we got the packs for? I'm not going to make Towers Turbo. I don't think that'd get me very far. Alba Abyss. So this is uh branded, right? Yep, we got Fallen of Albaz. Hmm. I do want to lean towards getting Yeah, let's buy a 10 pack of the All Baz one here. I think Branded might be the deck we end with. Or get to the higher ranks, right? That deck's meta, right? I hope, I hope it's meta. Watch it not be meta. So the cards from the, on the right are, are from this set, and the cards on the left are from every, from all the sets. So these these four on the right, from this set, and then the other four is everything, pretty much everything. So we're looking for ultra rares and super rares on the right side. Fortunately, I'm not getting any. Okay, we got a super rare there. Fallen of Albaz, nice. And we get ultra rare there too. Oops, I didn't mean to open them all at once there, but... Oh well. Hope it upgraded to a super rare pack. And we get super rare right here. This one's... Oh, nope. I thought it just said it upgraded. Oh, we get an ultra rare here at least. Right side, please. Ah. Uh,
Sporal Code Dragon. Oh, I got three of the same card here. Okay, Dogmatica, this is a good card. Alright, so we got two ultra rares and four super rares. Kind of bad, honestly. Alright, so we got 300 gems left. I'm not going to buy anything else, obviously. Oh, but we got some missions to complete here. Maybe we'll get some more gems. Okay, let's go buy another 10 then. From that. Set. But I will not be making a branded deck right now though. Uh, it's too powerful at the moment. But when we get to the higher ranks, sure, you know. Let's see. Anything good here? Ooh. Oh, nice. Double Ultra Rare. Branded Fusion and Nadir Servant. So we got the one Nadir Servant that we would need. Because it's at one, it's limited, so. Okay, second Ecclesia. That's good. Can I get a third Ecclesia, please? Okay, Brandon Banishment. Let's set us Tri Brigade cards too. Oh, nice double super rare there, but it's a Spriggan card. Sprig Spriggan cards. <clears throat> Alright, two ultra rares. Okay, we got Mirror Jade. Alright. Another one of those. I don't know if I'll need two of those or not, but you guys can let me know. Okay, Brandon and White. Alright, so this is a good pack. Four ultra rares. Eight super rares. Holy crap, that was really good. We got another mission complete as well. Okay. So we're going to start with Synchro Immunity, and we're going to go from there. Uh, I'm going to make, I'll edit it um, after. But that's the deck we're going to start with to make it a little bit more of a challenge. So this is Synchro Immunity. I have not edited the deck at all. That's exactly how it how it comes. 
And we're going to start with this. I'm going to go into some duels with the stack. See if we can actually win. Standard. Season 17. Alright, sync. Oh, nope, nope. Cancel. I gotta change the synchro of unity. Oops. Alright, let's get to the first duel here. Alright, here we go. First duel. Looks oh, like we're going second, probably. Yep. Let's we'll see what deck he's playing. We're in the rookie level. Shouldn't be too hard, but we'll see how it goes. We are using a terrible deck, so... Okay, I can put out a 2500 beater on the first turn. Okay, looks like he's probably doing playing the same deck. Because the Synchro of Unity has Shard of Greed in it. This card is sent to the graveyard. Special summon one speed warrior from your hand deck or graveyard. Okay. I think I'm normal summoning this. We're gonna act, we're gonna summon. Turret Warrior, 2500. Come on. We're going to attack over his defense monster, hopefully, as long as it's Shield Wing. Okay, he's going to put it to defense, that's fine. So we're going to set this card, and if he destroys it, I guess I'll set this one too. If he destroys this one, then I can get a Speed Warrior from the deck. Do I have any... Level 7 Synchros? Pop this one. Ah. Uh, it's fine. Whatever. Maybe I shouldn't have set the other one. Okay, I could go for Nitro Warrior. It's only slightly stronger though. I think I'll set this actually. I can get it back with um, Junk Synchron. And I can do that play later if I want to. I better not set that trap right now because MST. The Synchro of Unity has triple MST. Alright, so you can draw two here. The slowest pot of greed ever. <laughs> Wait two turns to activate pot of greed. Okay, setting a couple back row, that's kind of scary.
Okay, I get to draw a card with that, so maybe it is worth going for Nitro Synchron here. Plus I get to pop one of his cards too. Or one of his monsters, I mean. With this card. Okay, that's fine. Should have waited on that dude. I love using these older cards. Fossil Fighter is really good too, but I think we'll just go for Nitro Warrior here. That way I draw a card. But there would be nothing wrong with going for Colossal Fighter there either. Colossal Fighter actually saw meta play. At one point in time. Should have waited until I attacked. He just surrenders, okay. Sure. New he was new to the game, so. And I've obviously been playing since I was 13 years old, so. A very long time. Alright, well we'll get another duel with Synchro of Unity. I'll probably duel three uh, three times of this deck and then we'll edit it. We'll make a new deck. I think we want to go first, right? It's probably better to go second with this deck though. going for a power play right off the bat here. No, that's a rock. Never mind. I thought that was a warrior. It's got warrior in the name, but it's a rock. Well, it's okay. I'm gonna Harpy's one card, bro. So I should do this because if he has a way to beat over that, this will prevent it from being destroyed by battle. I do take more life point damage though, but life, point, life points don't matter in this game. Unless you're getting OTK'd. It don't matter if you have like 8,000 or 3,000 really. Okay, he's using Raid Raptors. Great. Probably gonna lose this one. He actually got a legitimate deck, but he's supposed to summon the wrong one. Oh, I know he had to summon that. That's right. He, he didn't need to special summon this one. He could have special summoned this one for free after XYZ summoning. Maybe he doesn't have another Raid Raptor in hand. Okay. Go oh, for a link play. Why Strix? Okay, that's that's okay. Yep, there we go. Now he's gonna summon another one here. Oh, another one. He drew another one of those. Yep, there's four Strix. Yep. 
Fuzzy Lanius. Pretty standard play so far. I don't know how Phantom Knights ended up being tied to Raid Raptors, but here we are. He gets a search for that card. Basically, Raid Raptors are ser search the deck. They can search for days. Another search card. It's kind of not fair though, because he's using a, he's using an actual deck. I'm using a structured deck, so there's no way I'm winning this game. We'll see how it goes though, you never know. Sometimes I'm, I might pull an upset. But I don't think any veteran could get themselves out of this, win, win this game. You can go for triple, triple four strikes. Look how much defense it has. Four grand. How much? Let's get over a monster of 4,000 defense. It's got the same defense as almost the Tormentor. Four Strix spam. Four Strix dot deck. Am I going to get OTK'd? Yeah, I think I'm dead. 36. 5,000. 6,600. It's not over yet, unless he can special summon another one. Which I, he probably can. Yep. So he's gonna use that. I got OTK'd by Raid Raptors. Never thought I'd see that ever. I'll let him I'll let him attack me though, I don't care. I'm not gonna surrender. Yep, now you can special summon one from the deck, right? Yep. It's over. OTK'd by Raid Raptors in 2023. The world first Raid Raptor OTK. <laughs> Still going, huh? It's not like you haven't switched them in a million times already. Just attack, bro. It's not good to surrender in this game anyway because you don't get any points. You should always just let the attacks go through. That kind of wasn't fair though because he had a legitimate deck.
Alright, so we'll try one more duel with Synchro of Unity. See if we can get another win. Probably not, but we'll see how it goes. Get a turret warrior play there. Another Japanese player, or whatever that is. Okay, pretty slow play. Go for this. I'm not going to turret warrior right now. This will be 1800. Oh, Melfi. I don't know what that deck does. Is that like Pearly before Pearly was a thing? Get Speed Warrior in the grave and I can Junk Synchron. Alright, Monster Reborn. Fine. Oh, playing tri tri brigade, <laughs> tri brigade Melfi, new meta. <laughs> go for rank eight, rank two synchro or rank two X Y Z. I mean, or link summon. I guess. If X Y Z summon, let's see what we got. Joyous Melfi's. Gets one material from this card. Your Melfi monsters can attack directly this turn. When your opponent's turn quick effect, you can target one beast type XYZ. You control return that monster to the extra deck. Okay. I would not be attacking directly though. I'd be beating over my monster. Okay, he doesn't have uh, the, the other Tri Brigade monster. Or else he would have searched it. I think he's got like a budget deck or something maybe. He's going to Link Summon here, using cards in his grave. Oh, he's just going to attack. Interesting. Nope, I don't need to keep Speed Warrior alive, it's fine. Alright, he's gonna XYZ summon on top. Oh, Zeus. Oh, crap. Well, I wasn't expecting that. I didn't have a way to stop the attack anyway, though, but...
Well, they could just lose the Zeus, right? Gonna be sent to the grave anyway. There's not really much point in activating this though. Well, I guess I should have activated it. Well, no, I wouldn't have done no good. I would. It wouldn't have been destroyed by battle. Hmm. Just pass here. So this would be 3,000. I could crash into this next turn. Gonna regeki one monster, okay sure. Seems like the correct play. Why didn't he add a card to his hand? Changing this to the fence does nothing. I think I just crash here, right, guys? I think I have to crash. Oh, okay. Now he can add. Okay. I thought it was if that card was normal summoned. I think this is the correct play. And I think that's correct. I just hope he doesn't have another one of those. Which I don't think... Is Zeus at one or is it... Unlimited? I don't... Most people only run one of it, right? Oh no. I lose. Oh, GG. It was a good duel, but he got me. What a top deck. Or maybe he had that in hand, I'm not sure, but... I think he top decked that. Yep, I see the lethal here. Well, I'm gonna let it go through because that way I get my points. I won one duel at least. We're gonna be editing this deck and we'll be okay after that. <laughs> Rescue Rabbit. Alright, this has been Synchro of Unity. Obviously a very terrible deck. But I don't expect a structure deck to be good, so... Alright, not bad. Alright, so that'll be it for this episode of the free-to-play run. I'm going to open some more branded packs in the next episode. So, thanks for watching. Later.